Good afternoon, Namaskar viewers. I, Kriti Vatera, would like to welcome all the teachers, learners, educators and students to CIT and CRT's live phone-in program. And you are watching us live on PME Vidya's channel number 9. This session is going to be for standard 9 student and we have come with a, a chapter of mathematics of your textbooks, polynomials. And it's the second part of polynomials. We have already had one uh, uh, introductory session by our expert and uh, I would like to introduce the expert for today. Ms. Bina Prakash, PGT Mathematics, joining us uh, all the way from Bhopal. We welcome you, Ms. Prakash, for today's session. Good evening, Kriti. Good evening, all my learners. And before we begin with the, today's session, we was certain information for you to remain connected to us. If you have any kind of queries, questions or suggestions, then please feel free and do let us know. You can dial on our number to tell us. Number would be double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. One more medium to contact us would be the email address flashing on your screens right away. And here I feel proud to announce that India assumed G20 presidency and is convening G20 leadership summit for the first time in the nation, a country deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism. India's G20 presidency is going to be a watershed moment in its history as it's going to play some very important role in finding pragmatic global solutions. And by doing so, we are truly manifesting the true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or the world is one family. So let us begin with today's math session. I welcome you again, Ms. Prakash. So Thank you. can we have a recapitulation of what we yes. studied yes. in the last uh, yes. session? Yes, last class, I started with the chapter polynomials. As the word says polynomial, polynomial means many, nominals means terms. So, the expression that we have corresponding to this polynomial is of this type, where the variable that is unknown that we have is x, it's a polynomial in x, so we find that the indices of x is very varying from 0. The first term has no term of x, means it has x to the index 0. We attach a x to the index 0 to it. Starting from 0, it's 1, 2, and so on up to m. So, there are these terms which constitutes the polynomials that's more than two terms we have polynomials with the condition that whatever is the highest index of x here the highest index of x is n this is n hence then we need to have this condition that its coefficient the term which is attached to these x are the coefficient they are known as coefficients so we need to know have that condition that the highest index of x should not have a coefficient 0. Otherwise, this will not exist. That's the reason why we should always have this as a non-zero. That's a condition that we have attached to it. Now, in polynomial, what did we study? That is what all the index of x can be. It is purely whole number. It cannot be anything. Whole number means it starts from 0. It starts from 0 and it's up to n. Then n is the degree of this polynomial. The highest index that we have for x is the degree of the polynomial. So where a0, a1, they are all coefficients of respective terms and they are all known as the coefficients. Right? So this was last discussed along with we took different types of polynomials. This was first example where we had in x cube. This is a coefficient of x cube. Now, this is another polynomial on x where we had two factors, it's two multiplied. We have multiplied two types of expressions, both polynomials, which expands to a polynomial of degree 3 because when you multiply these two, you get degree 3. So, likewise, you have different expressions. Now, the question is, is this a polynomial? Will this be a polynomial? Now, this expression in it has t to the index. When you rewrite this, it has t to the index minus 1. So this is not a polynomial. We discussed in the last class, even this one, which has one on x, it is actually x to the index minus one. Minus one is not a whole number. So this is again not a polynomial. So apart from these two, the rest, all three are polynomials. Now here you see upon k, this is just a constant. As we have two, we have literals also. A is another constant that we have because this is a polynomial in x. So the expression that we have in x is known as the polynomial. Fine. So, this we discussed in the last class. Now, we move on to the next thing that is, we need to name a polynomial as per the number of terms, as per the degree. 
there are two categories according to which we can name the polynomial like the first one it is the first one has minus 2x so how many terms do you find here there is only one term so it's known as a monomial that's term one there is only one term so monomial now what is the degree of this expression it is x to the index one so the degree that is highest index that we come across in this expression is one so that's known as linear in this, this is a polynomial in Q. So the second expression is a polynomial in Q, which is expressed in this form. So the coefficient of u square is root 3. Coefficient of u is minus 5. So how many terms do we read in it? It is root 3 u square minus 5 u plus 3, there is a plus 7. There are three terms. So the number of terms that we have is 3. As per the terms, the name that we give is trinomial. But now what is the degree? Degree means? The highest index of that varying quantity, u, use highest index 2. So it's a degree 2 expression, which is known as quadratic. The next expression, it is in t, h, t. It's a polynomial in t. So we look for the very coefficient of different indices of t. So this is the first term that we have, t cube. t cube's coefficient is 2 on 3. t's coefficient is minus 7 on 7. And this is minus 1 upon 5. Now, if you see this expression, this is just a trinomial. There are three terms, so it's a trinomial. And the highest index that we have is 3, so it's known as cubic. Now, look at this expression. We find that as we define the polynomial as an expression, where we had kept the expression in one particular order of the index of the variables. Like we had this as 3, then it should be 2. In that order, we take, we take it in ascending or descending order. For just a structure, it's a structure that we are discussing. Now, in this, you see that after t cube, you have t. There is one thing missing in it. So, what is that the thing missing? It is t square that is missing. What has happened to that t square? It is nothing but it has a zero coefficient. Hence, its value comes out to be zero. So, that's the reason why you don't see in it. It is actually 2 upon 3 t cube plus 0 t square minus 70 minus 1 upon 5. So therefore, we now find that all the indices of t are in it. 3, 2, 1 and the final term, no term with t, that means it has to the index 0. That's it. But here in that case, you find that there are four terms, but I defined it as three terms. So what is that you need to define and discuss when you take discuss about that number of terms that no index of t should have a zero coefficient. So those terms should vanish. That is, this should not be existing in that expression. So we did not write it. So it is actually a trinomial. Understood? <coughs> now the next expression that we have is, there are three terms again, but the highest index that you find is, here it is 5. It is 4. It's, I'll write this as 3 here. So you find that it is degree 4 expression. So it's a 4 by quadratic. And again, there are three terms. Now this example, you find that this is only written in terms of 3. That's all that you see in it. What is that it is missing? The expression of x. Is it really missing? Let's observe it. Is it really missing? It's not actually missing. It is there in it. But which form is it? The term that we have is x with its index 0. So hasn't it taken the format that we discussed? It is some index of x, right? So we have the polynomial with degree 0. So a polynomial with degree 0 is known as a constant polynomial. And there is only one term, so it's known as monomial. Is that clear? So a degree of non-zero constant polynomial is 0. Any polynomial where you see only constant has degree 0. Now, what if the polynomial is 0 itself? It is just a 0. See, it's 0. It is only 0. That is, it's a polynomial whose value is 0, which is 0 itself. Hence, it's known as a 0 polynomial. 0 polynomial. That's 0 polynomial. And its degree is not defined. Children, please note this. This is a very important fact that the degree of a zero polynomial is not defined. Why is it not defined? Because you find that you have it as a multiple of zero.
So I can always write it as x to the end 0 multiplied by x to the index 5. I can also write it as 0 multiplied by x to the index 10. I can also write it as x to the index 100. So you find that you can have varying expression in it. So is it a fixed quantity? It is not a fixed quantity. Hence, the degree is not defined. So this two important points, please note this children, ye aap ko bohat important hai yaad rakhna. that is a constant expression, that is where you do not have, it's a polynomial in x, that's known to you, and you don't find x dikta nahi apne ko's expression mein. only numbers or some literals, a, b, c dik sakta hai. you can also see this expression, qx is equal to a, qx is equal to a, this is also a polynomial in x with degree 0. It is multiplied to x to the index 0. So we have this as multiplied to x to the index 0. So you find only constants. If it is constants, it is constant polynomial ka degree is 0. But it is a polynomial which has one term. Take one term, hai, one term is known as monomial. But if you have, agar polynomial sirf 0 hi hai, only 0, then it is known as a 0 polynomial or is degree defined nahi hai. I have explained it kyo nahi hai because hum usko aise bhi likh sakte 0 multiplied by x to the index 5, 0 multiplied by x to the index 6, aise kuch bhi likh sakte hai. So hum dekh rahe ki you can write it in varying index. So it is not defined. So now that was the thing that we discussed in the last class. Let me take up now in today's class. See, you have a polynomial, a polynomial hai in x. So what is it? 3 plus 2x. Now, what is that is given in the next step? P of minus 1. What's the meaning of the statement P of minus 1? That is, we replace x value as minus 1. This ka matlab ye hai ki we are finding the value of this polynomial when x is minus 1. Is polynomial ka value kya hoga when x is minus 1? So, put the value of x as minus 1. Isko to simplify karo ke to you get 1. So, the value of x when x is 1, x is minus 1. When x is minus 1, p, the value of this expression is 1. Likewise, when x is 0, here x is 0. So, x is 0, x is 0, you get p of 0 as 3. Now, p of minus 2, that means you can vary the value. We 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 can vary the value. अगर मैं बस पूछूंगी तो क्या होगा इसका आंसर 3 plus 2 pi हमने लास्ट चैप्टर में पढ़ा है pi is an irrational number so 3 is a rational number pi is an irrational number so इन दोनों का एडिशन will always be an irrational number तो इसको हम ऐसे ही छोड़ेंगे we don't try to simplify or write any any other form because आप लोगों को याद होगा it's just a reminder pi it's an irrational number which cannot be expressed in the form of p upon q. You can't write it in the form of p upon q. If we write 22 upon 7, that's just an approximate value. If we use it in a calculation, then we write it in 22 upon 7. Otherwise, we can't write it in it. So, it is as such. So, we will keep it like this. Similarly, if someone asks what will p of minus root 5 be? So, what will it be? Just replace x as minus root 5. So, what we get is 3 minus 2 root 5. ये भी देखिए ये भी एक root five एक irrational number है इसको decimal में convert कर सकते हैं but it will be approximation here five is also decimal conversion but it is approximation तो छोड़ दीजिए ऐसे this is the answer there is nothing in it ठीक है so now we move to the next thing that is p of x again दूसरे एक polynomial है question is what is p of minus x ये question पूछ रहा है कि p of minus x क्या होगा so what will p of x minus x be जहाँ x है उसको replace कर दो minus x है you get two times minus x minus one so what is the answer to it it's minus two x minus one ठीक है so that's the value of p of minus अब question ये है कि find p of x plus p of minus x p of x का value क्या है two x minus one और उसके साथ आपको किसकी value add करनी है you have to add to it p of minus x that is minus two x minus one अब इन दोनों एक्सप्रेशन का एडिशन करना है आप ऐड करके देखिए क्या मिलेगा 2x एक्स गेट्स कैंसिल वॉट इज द आंसर टू इट माइनस टू सो द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज माइनस टू तो यहां तक क्लियर हुआ अपना नाउ लुक एट दिस एक्सप्रेशन p ऑफ x इज 3 प्लस एक्स 
और मैंने यहाँ पे p of minus 3 पूछा that is x equal to minus 3. So what do we get? It is 0. ठीक है? p of minus 3 is 0. अब दूसरा क्वेश्चन है. p of x, this polynomial is x square minus x minus 2. तो पहला चीज है कि find p of 1. p of 1 निकालते हैं. What is p of 1? Replace x as 1. p हो जाएगा 1 का square that is 1 minus 1. It's a 1 minus 1. It becomes 0. 0 हो जाएगा. तो what is the answer? It's minus 2. Now next, p of minus 2. Same change. It becomes 4 minus minus plus 2 हो जाएगा. Minus 2. So what is the answer to that? p of minus 2 हो जाता है 4. Now let's find the value of p of minus 1. हम यहाँ p of 1 निकाल है. अब p of minus 1 निकालते हैं. p of minus 1 क्या हो जाएगा? Minus 1 का square 1. And then x can replace करेंगे minus one with all भी है minus ये minus minus becomes plus one और ये minus two तो इसका आंसर क्या है zero now p of two क्या होगा o minus two minus two that is equal to zero so what is that you may observe इसमें क्या दिख रहा है हमें कि हम इस polynomial में कुछ कुछ values जब रखते हैं इस p of minus one रखे तो this comes out to be minus this will be minus 1, minus 3 हो जाएगा. Minus 1 का cube minus 1, minus of 2 times 1 minus 1 square, 1 हो गया. So that will give us minus 3. P of 1, this is 1, minus 2, that comes out to be minus 1. And P of 0, ये 0 दिख रहा है. P of 2 क्या दिखेगा अपने को? 8 minus 2 times 4, 2 square, that is again 8 हो जाएगा. इसका भी value 0 दिख रहा है. तो अब हम क्या observe कर रहे हैं? कि किसी किसी value पर उस पॉलिनोमियल का वैल्यू जीरो होता है किसी किसी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स पर उस पॉलिनोमियल का वैल्यू जीरो हो रहा है बाकी जगह पे नहीं हो रहा देखिए आपने इस पे बा, बाकी जगह पे क्या नहीं आ रहा बट यहां पे ये जीरो हो रहा है ये जीरो हो रहा है तो व्हाट इज द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ दिस जस्ट एक क्विक रिव्यू दिखा देती हूं मैं आप लोगों को दिख रहा है आपको ये कब दिख ये आप दिख रहा है देखिए 3 प्लस x ये कब दिख रहा है आपको? प्रतिदिन आपको दिख रहा है ये कब? जी मिस प्रकाश इट्स क्वाइट विजिबल दिख पा रहा है ये। Now see this is the graph that we have drawn for this function or the polynomial यहाँ f x लिखा है वो उसमें inbuilt है इसलिए यहाँ f x लिखा है इट इस डी पॉलिनोमियल p x। Now what is it? Three plus x जो हमने यहाँ पे लिया है same example लिया है मैंने three plus x so what did we observe? When you put x as minus 3, what we see is its value is 0. So what is the interpretation of this? We find that the point where x is minus 3, this is x-axis and this is its y-axis. So the curve that we have, 3 plus x, to curve hai, it is degree 1, 3 plus x, it's a degree 1 expression and it's known as linear. Linear ka matlab, uska graph jo hai, ek straight line hai. So ye sare informations बच्चों आप लोगों को मालूम होना चाहिए कि किस तरह का एक्सप्रेशन है ये पर्टिकुलर पॉलिनोमियल। तो इसका डिग्री वन है, इट्स अ लीनियर नाम उसका क्या है? बेस ऑन इट्स डिग्री लीनियर। लीनियर का मतलब क्या है? व्हेन यू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ़ इट बाय प्लॉटिंग डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ़ एक्स, यू तो पॉलिनोमियल का वैल्यू 4 है, सो दिस इज़ द करेस्पोंडिंग वैल्यू ऑफ़ वाई। अब एक्स के वैल्यू 3 रखिए, व्हाट विल द करेस्पोंडिंग वैल्यू ऑफ़ वाई बी? 6। अब एक्स के वैल्यू माइनस 2 रखिए, व्हाट विल एक्स करेस्पोंडिंग वैल्यू बी? 1। एंड व्हेन यू पुट एक्स एस माइनस 3, द पॉल when x is minus 3, it is intersecting x-axis. Getting it? It is intersecting x-axis. X-axis pe cut karta hai. So therefore, that is what the representation. Intersecting x-axis means, uska corresponding y value will be 0. Ab dusra curve jo tha, x square minus, I'll take the example, x square minus, minus x minus it was a uh, 2 I think yes it was a 2 minus 2 
अब आप देखिए इसका कव देखिए ये देखिए ये कव है इसका दिस इज द कव ये जो रेड शेप दिख रहा है ये कव है करस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस पॉलिनोमियल एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस एक्स माइनस टू अब इस कव का शेप देखिए एक इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट यू जैसा दिख रहा है इस शेप का नाम है पैराबोला द शेप ऑफ दिस इज द नेम इज पैराबोला अच्छा ये डिग्री क्या है इसका डिग्री ऑफ इट इज टू इसका नाम क्या है इस पॉलिनोमियल का कॉट्राटिक सो so, इसका शेप ऐसा दिखता है यू शेप का पैराबोला दैट्स नोन एज पैराबोला सो नाउ अगेन वी डिस्कस एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट कौन कौन से पॉइंट डिस्कस किए पी ऑफ वन डिस्कस किया मैंने पी ऑफ माइनस टू डिस्कस किया लेट एस सी वॉट इज पी ऑफ वन इज पी ऑफ वन मीन ये वैल्यू देखिए एक्स भी एरो दिख रहा है आपको यस yes? आपको एरो दिख रहा है जी विजिबल है मिस प्रकाश तो देखिए एक्स इज वन so what is its corresponding value curve of pick kya rahega it is this value which is coming out to be minus 2 did we not get the same answer see x is 1 we have the polynomials value as minus 2 likewise x is minus 2 polynomials value is coming out to be 4 let's check it from the graph minus 2 is here and see it is at this point it is crossing same and x what is this corresponding point on the curve this point has x as minus 2 and y as 4 So that means the value of the polynomial at x equal to minus two is four. Now we got these two specific values that is p of minus one or p of two. What is p of minus one? Zero. What is p of two? That's a zero. So see what is that you get in it? P of minus one. Did you see? P of minus one. This is zero. And p of two. That's a zero. So what do you find? ये जो जीरो किस लिए आ रहा है दैट इज इंडिकेटिंग द पॉलिनोमियल व्हेन यू ड्रॉ अ कर्व आप उसका कर्व बनाएंगे द कर्व विल इंटरसेक्ट एक्स एक्सिस एट अ पॉइंट दैट इज माइनस वन एंड टू हेल्स उसका वाई वैल्यू इज जीरो सो व्हाट इज द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ दिस क्वांटिटी दैट इज पी ऑफ माइनस वन इज जीरो दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल एट एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन इस पॉलिनोमियल का वैल्यू एट एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन इज जीरो इस पॉलिनोमियल का वैल्यू एट एक्स इक्वल टू टू इज जीरो हम बिल्कुल लास्ट मिनट्स में हैं मिस प्रकाश आज के इस सेशन की मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगी आपसे कि आप प्लीज अपना प्रेजेंटेशन रैप करें स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट अब आपने कर्व देख लिया कर्व में कितने सारे पॉइंट है सारे पॉइंट को नहीं सेटिस्फाई करते इट इज ओनली स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट अब ये कॉर्पोरेटिव पॉलिनोमियल है तो हमें दो जीरो दिखा पॉलिनोमियल है एक लाइन जो बनता है अब आप देखिए ये लाइन अगर आपने ड्रॉ किया एक तरफ से व्हेन इट इज क्रॉसिंग दिस क्या ये लाइन वापस एक्स एक्सिस पे किसी और पॉइंट पे क्रॉस कर, कर सकता है क्या जस्ट ए क्वेश्चन ये लाइन जो आपने बनाया है जनरल क्वेश्चन ये लाइन जो बनाया हमने इज इट पॉसिबल क्या ये जो पर्टिकुलर ग्रीन लाइन जो दिख रहा है ये वापिस एक्स एक्सिस पे कहीं आए क्रॉस कर सकता है क्या ये तो एक लाइन है लाइन कहीं बेंड नहीं हो सकता तो लाइन निकल जाएगी वैसे वापस एक्स एक्सिस पे कभी भी नहीं आएगा दैट इज यही एक पॉइंट है जहां इट्स एक्स वैल्यू विल बी जीरो पॉलिनोमियल वैल्यू विल बी जीरो वैसे ही ये जो पॉलिनोमियल है जिसका डिग्री टू है जी यू शेप बना है ये शेप का कर्व जो है एट एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन पे अगर आपने ट्रेस किया तो यहां से आया तो माइनस वन पे कट किया एक्स एक्सिस को वापिस ये टू के ऊपर जाके फिर वापस करते हुए ऊपर चला जी सो दैट्स द एंड ये ऊपर तक जा गए इट विल एंड एक्सटेंड टू राइट तरफ एक्सटेंड राइट राइट एंड सर्टनली वी कैन डिस्कस फर्दर इन आर फॉलो अप सेशन अब डीप इन डिटेल अबाउट पोल नॉमियल्स मिस प्रकाश एंड विद दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ टूडेज मैथ सेशन एंड वी हैव टू स्टॉप हियर एंड आई एम श्योर आप इसको आगे लेकर जाएंगे और अगले फॉलो अप सेशन में और डिटेल में समझाएंगे हमारे सभी व्यूअर्स को Sure. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you. So this was mathematics polynomials chapter for you, and uh, with the after this we will be having a webinar where we discuss uh, various ICT tools for you. And here I would like to remind you that uh, if you have not purchased uh, the textbooks of NCERT because the academic session has already begun, then you can simply buy them from the publication division situated at 
New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata, Guwahati also you can buy these books and the timing for these divisions would be 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. and they are open on all gusted holidays and on Saturday Sundays as well for you all. And for placing the online order, simply log into NCRT's official website, place an order, you'll be getting all these books right at your doorstep without any delivery charge. And if you wish to read the PDF version of the textbooks, you can simply download the mobile applications of Deeksha E. Partshala and NCRT. There you will be finding the PDF versions of the textbooks and on the official website of NCRT also the textbooks uh, are available in PDF version. So this was the math session. Thank you. But remain connected to PMA with there to watch NCRT's resource material. Namaskar.